President Jacob Zuma is throwing down the gauntlet at the ANC and he has denounced the party that he once led and is now pledging to vote for a new party, Umkonto West Izwe. Now Zuma is calling on South Africans to further join him, saying that he would rather be a betrayal to a vote for the ANC. But the question is, will the governing party take any action against its former president in line with its rules? Let's discuss this now with political analyst Begim Gomez, who joins me for this conversation. And Begim, thank you so much for your time. A very warm good morning to you. Uh, did you anticipate at all this announcement by President Jacob Zuma this past weekend? I mean, him saying that he cannot vote for the ANC nor campaign for it in the upcoming elections, calling it the ANC of Ramaphosa and therefore pledging his support to Mkonto Wissis. Uh, thank you very much, my sister, for having me and uh, good morning to your viewers. Yeah, this is a very interesting moment, not just for the ANC, but for the country as a whole, more especially given the fact that the ANC is the governing party. Uh, to answer your question, there were indeed uh, speculations that the, the former president was going to throw a bombshell, but uh, very few of us expected that it would be this uh, of, of this magnitude. Uh, the reality here is that, uh, in a way, the ANC is to blame for most of what is happening now. Because of inconsistencies in the manner in which it has handled its members and the manner in which it has implemented Section 25 of the Constitution of the party. So there have been inconsistencies in, in many respects, uh, one of which is uh, uh, the point that uh, uh, the former president referred to, that of Esma Khashoggi. Uh, which is uh, seven points that he listed, but one of them is that of Esma Khashoggi, which 